Well, there's another hundred pounds of catnip to unload and dry in my bus. Actually, the bus is full. I'm going to have to start using my transport trailer now. My big 53 footer. Let me show you. <clears throat> See what I mean? Nothing but catnip everywhere. Every day I go pick another van load. Even got the front seat all filled up. And of course there's a very intense smell in here, that's for sure. Oh my god! James is in here! Are you hijacking the bus? <laughs> What'd you find? <laughs> it's pretty funny. The bus isn't far from where Rick's hanging out, and so I got some kitty in here. He can't wait. Lots and lots. So once you're done drying this stuff and it looks like that, you put your you know cotton gloves on, you just hold the stem and you run your other hand down the stem like this and pinching hard as you can and it strips off all the buds and then you end up with stuff like that you see you leave it with a little bit of moisture in so it's still a bit soft and then you put the lid on and you dry it and cure it for a while and then it becomes the most potent you don't over dry it and you don't under dry it if you under dry it it turns all black and gets moldy Wait till you see what's in here. As you've already seen, the bus was full of catnip, drying. Well, the bus has 150 pounds more in it since then. This is full too, and I'll show you what else is full. I'm inside my building now, and I've got catnip all over the room, on top of everything in here. Oh my God. I'm in the trailer now, and I'm just covered in mountains of nip. I am have a, a cat conniption. Look at it all. It's the biggest bud growing and bug drying operation probably in Ontario. Oh my god, it's like going to a gym. Not even room to walk. The stank in here is incredible. Like a minty marijuana smell. It's just, you just can't believe the smell in here. Wow. I've actually got more than a thousand pounds of bud drying right now. Of course it weighs less when it's dry, but last year I only had a hundred pounds of cured. This year I'm going to have, oh my god, hundreds and hundreds of pounds of cured marrow. I mean, what am, I, what am I saying? But, you know, catnip? That's for sure. Mmm. Smells good and sweet. And the other funny thing is, this place is full of bees now. They like to smell too. I've got competition. Oh well, I gotta get out of here. It's so humid. I was in court in Guelph yesterday. And on the way back, I decided to stop and pick the nip on the way back and enjoy life. And oh my god, I got 500 pounds just in one van load. Just on the way back from court, 200 kilometers. There'll be no cats jonesing this year, so long as they know David's farm. Keep watching and buy more. Well, since I've only picked 30% of the nip and I've got a thousand pounds drying, looks like next year I'm going to have to get another trailer since my bus is full, my room is full, even flowing out the door, and my trailer certainly is full. And the stuff is ripening fast. You've only got a two-week window when to pick it, so it's the right amount of stink for the cats.